Hello dear students, this is experiment number five, the conservation of linear momentum and kinetic energy. First of all, uh, you need um, to be uh, familiar with the setup. This apparatus, apparatus uh, consists of um, the air track and two gliders with flags, as you see here. Um, masses, a set of mass, and electronic timers that are, uh, that, uh, are mounted to the uh, photogates. In this experiment, your purpose is to check the conservation of momentum, ener momentum and kinetic energy. Um, the theory of this experiment is uh, in um, when you have two masses that uh, collide together, the velocity, you will record the velocity before and after the collision. And you will try the uh, formula for the conservation of energy and also uh, conservation of linear momentum. Uh, uh, we here we have two masses, glider number one as mass number one with the flag that it lens, uh, the length of the flag is 10 centimeter, and also uh, glider number two as mass number two with its flag, the same uh, flag. Um, the, the mass of this uh, glider is 210 gram. In our calculation, we won't forget to convert it to kilogram. We talked about the air track. The air track here helps uh, for this experiment helps to remove the friction uh, for um, the collision. So this collision will be um, no, without uh, any friction. Okay, uh, then, then uh, we um, start the experiment, we need to, um, for mass number one, we need to give um, initial velocity to this mass. When we release this mass, it's supposed to pass through the gate. As you see here, mass number one, this flag takes this time to pass through the gate. So if I divide the length of this flag, by this time, this will give me, give me the velocity of uh, the glider number one before collision. And the direction is positive because we assume that the, uh, the x, uh, positive direction of x-axis is in the uh, right. And after the collision, mass number one again will pass through the gate, but we should be very ca careful about this. Before the uh, mass one pass again through the gate, I have make null the timer, and then when it passes again, I will, I will record, record this time, uh, and again uh, this length divided by this time, I will have the velocity of mass number one after collision, which is V prime one. For mass number two, for simplicity, I consider that the initial velocity of mass number one is zero. So I placed the glider between two um, gate, gates and mass number one out of them. Uh, I will record the velocities during the experiment, uh, velocity before collision, after collision, and I need to record three times, the time mass one passes through the gate, the time mass one uh, repass the gate, and the time uh, mass number two passes uh, the gate, um, uh, the gate number two. Okay. 
Now, um, um, the, after repeating this experiment, I can try the uh, formula with this data that I collected during the experiment. I can try uh, the conservation, um, uh, the conservation of the kinetic energy and uh, momentum. This is the theory, theory of the experiment. Now uh, I uh, start to do the experiment. First of all, I open the pump. Okay, I recorded time before collision as 0 0.153 second and the time after collision for mass 1, 1 1.785 uh, uh, second for um, the velocity uh, for, for the mass number 2 after collision. Um, the time for a mass two that passes through the gate uh, for after collision is 0 0.245 second. Okay, this is our information. I uh, transfer, uh, transfer the data to the table. Okay, we collected the time um, for mass number one before collision after, and after collision and also the time for mass number two after collision. Um, when I divide the length of the flag with the corresponding time, I can find the velocity of them before and after collision. I use the calculator and find this information. Zero point one meter is the length of this flag divided by the time is 0 0.153 second is 0 0.653 unit is meter per second the velocity after collision is 0 0.1 divided by 1.785 which is 0 0.056 unit meter per second the initial velocity of mass 2 I considered 0 I put 0 and the velocity of mass 2 after collision will be 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.245 which is 0 0.408 meter per second okay this uh, 
information is for two masses, one, 210 gram, and mass two, 310 gram. Please pay attention that in this experiment, the air track uh, is not inclined and uh, the inclination angle uh, is a zero. So there is not any uh, potential energy for uh, neither of the uh, two gliders. And uh, both of them, they have just kinetic energies. If you pick one of these data that you uh, did in the experiment and uh, substitute in these two formulas, you will uh, be, uh, you will try that if um, they are equal or not.